weird weapon. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, I guess that's half the fun of it, but... I was like, what is this weapon? It's a freaking trophy, and he's gonna go ahead and hit with it. Okay. What do we got? More mecha goblins. Let's do mega explosion! Plus one! Nice. Oh, There's God. the kill. I wonder if it oh, had to do no. with the fact that Aegis' attack stat is so high. I don't know. I mean, it was only 10 points higher than you. Yeah, well, I guess that, that made was enough to make the difference. Yeah. I only just missed KOing them in one shot. Ooh, these guys are asking for a mega explosion as well. Oh, yeah, banana. Mm <laughs> hmm. Did you see that picture I posted earlier with that uh, very big lip and I found on Toy Yes. It's freaking ginormous. I know, that is a much larger version of the one I have. <laughs> oh, AJ, AJ thinks something's funny. Like when I found it, I'm like, she's gonna like this. Yeah. I have Someone's in, your, in real life Litten, though. Reason. Except he doesn't breathe fire. I have a freaking big one, and it's staring down at me. It's, what do you want? Alright. Ooh, BNR Jams got a KO. We got another KO. And how about regular explosion? Yeah, that's plenty. It's kind of weird thing a they can't handle, handle fire. That's not a crocodile. Oh my gosh, they- Beaner Jams and Mimiao just like, basically leveled up at the exact same rate. What is everyone starting out with in Ultra Sun and Moon? I don't know what I'll- well, on one- the first game I play for myself, I don't know, I guess I'll probably do Litten again, but... Cause I did- well I just did- I did Decidueye actually playing through Sun and then I- I started with Litten in my Moon Nuzlocke. So I might just start yeah, with Litten the first time. Did, like... Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of people did did uh did Rowlet as their starter. Rowlet, well, the combination of like Rowlet and Decidueye made it my favorite choice on design. Although Litten is my was my favorite basic stage, but there's just something about Incineroar that has like little tiny wrists and giant hands that looks goofy to me. Like, I would start with Litten, but I already have, like, half my team planned out, and I don't want to have, like, too many dark types on my team. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, the other thing is, whatever game I play second, I'm going to be streaming a Wonderlock of it, so whatever I get will be Wonder Traded away. But I'm going to do that so that you guys, I can, uh, play along with you guys, and you can try to Wonder Trade me stuff. And maybe you'll get yeah, it. Like same time, like, I'm sure as hell not starting with Poplio. Poplio. Uh, even though that Tomb Raider is kind of decent, I I'm just not a fan of the Evolution line. It's my least favorite out of, out of all the other Pokemon in the game. Well, I, the, I the, prob it. the problem is, well, Sirens and Mermaids are, I mean, I know they're mermen in more recent media, but it's traditionally a very feminine, like, creature. And it's so weird to think that that Poplio has the same, uh, whatever it was, 85 or 87.5% chance of being male as every other starter. Which kind of makes sense, but I feel like, well, I know why it is, actually. Because I, I was trying to, th I was thinking about it for a while, I'm like, why did they make the starters, you know, 87% male? And I realized it's to make it harder to breed them. I mean, it being fem female or male does not really mean anything to me. I just really don't like Poplio, the design. Yeah. It's ugly. I mean, for me, it's weird, like, with my Pokemon. I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, I don't care. But, like, it, there are Pokemon that I, tried, that I try to get as a certain gender when I want them on my team. But... Yeah. But, anyway, I... I, I was... That, that topic, it made me think... I've been wondering... You know why? Why it is that way? Where the with such like, a higher gender ratio, male to female, and I I think it's because really I think it's because to, it makes it harder to breed them. 
I mean, it really wouldn't be as hard to breed them as long as you can get your hand on a ditto, which is really easy. So it being a really weird gender. But if you want to put egg moves on it, on the fine. other hand, you need the female of it. Yeah, I mean, that's still totally fine. That's still won't take you that long to get a Ooh, SL Dino off. wants a mummy costume. See, SL Dino wants to dress for Halloween. Fwad. So, like... The only time I ever really care about genders is when it's a Pokemon that has an appearance that's based on a gender like Pyroar. Oh yeah, they have Pyroar. a different appearance based on gender. Yeah, I hate female Pyroar. It's, it's just so weird. It's a yeah. freaking long mane. On, like, it's, it's not even a mane, it's just like a very long ponytail on, on like its head. And yeah. It's like nothing else. It basically has Pidgeot then, hair. Also, Mimi, that was exactly what I thought too. I thought maybe... Maybe the trend would be broken by Poplio, but no. I mean, Oops. also, another Pokemon that, that my kind of preference on gender is Pikachu, because like, I cannot oh, handle that freaking knot in its tail. Yeah, that's kind of... Well, Raichu's annoys me more, because it's just like you cut the tip of it off. Also, I, I rearranged the party, and then I went back, and then I didn't realize that my new arrangement didn't save, so I have to go one more time with this configuration. But yeah, those are like the only two Pokemon I really have problems with being female or male or female. Yeah, I mean, again, it's at the end of the day, it's not it's not like it's a deal breaker or anything. But it's like if I'm when I'm imagine myself, that's hilarious, by the way. When I imagine myself with my team, I picture the Pokemon being certain genders. Like I just associate them in my mind. Not all of them. I mean, some of them are fairly like. Well, aside from the ones that actually are genderless, some of them are kind of, like, e they don't necessarily look more like one or the other to me, but some of them, it, it's hard to break the association. Fwad, you're killing me. I have In enough other times, money um, to get other I stuff. I prefer certain genders of Pokemon that can only evolve as a certain gender. But in well, that's mean, true. That's just, that's just everybody. Well, like, everybody like, prefers a female Salandit. Be in our jams. It's Halloween. <laughs> you're gonna get candy for free anyway, later. You don't have to buy the empty like, candy. If someone's gonna be forced to catch and use a combi, like, it, like, it better at least be a female combi. You know what I mean? Yeah. And... Right, I mean... Mimi, you do have a point. But I'm trying to think of, like, I'm trying to think of, like, a, there might be a, you know, a, a more, like, a reasoned out reason. Because the one thing I know I've learned about Pokemon and Game Freak in general is that they generally have thought things out much more thoroughly than it seems at first glance. Like, if you just dive in really deep with the things like lore and everything. So, there is a, ch I could, I could, if they were to try to say at the beginning that it was to um, make it so it was harder to breed, breed, like particularly breed with egg moves or breed for hidden ability because it's easier to breed for hidden ability with the female, I believe. Um, yeah, I mean, I could, to I could totally buy that being part of the reason. But anyway, also, who is O'Hare? What what's O'Hare from? I can't tell from this face. Which I honestly don't know. It's a it's a reference that I do not understand. Well, we're gonna fight this made that UFO mean reference. Is, is someone who does I don't get it. All right. Well, let's mega explosion all up in here with the assist from T Tyrant. Nice. Paul don't care. Hashtag Paul don't care. Glitch! Oh no! You're stealing two bananas! How you do fiend. you steal bananas from thief? Hello? <laughs> you, they stole from the thief. Like, excuse me? Oh my gosh, me? we did like nothing to this guy. Excuse me? You can't just steal a banana from a thief. Oh, well you stole one back, so there you go. I'm gonna take them both back. I guess that doesn't work that way. Oh, you know what we need? We need everybody to get hyper. That's what we need. 
while Sorakihiro's yawning. Wake up, Sorakihiro. There you go. Oh no! Stop stealing all the bananas! The damage! Stop stealing bananas! I wanna check this guy's HP. Well, at least at least oh now God. we're doing some damage to him. Some heavy damage to him. Title tournament. Being a wait. Being and being a water type expert, Poplio and its line are based on the Selkie of Irish mythology. Basically, a seal becomes a beautiful maiden by taking off its skin. I guess that that gives me a whole new way of looking at Primarina. I mean, I still think it's ugly. Because so. it looks like it peeled its skin off, and it's, like, because it's white underneath. There are stories of sailors right. who'd s steal the skin of the seal and force them into marriage. However, they would willingly find a mate, mother, and child, a child, and leave the child with the father, all the while being a silent guardian for both the child and father. <laughs> I mean, the, I still think it's ugly, as so. That's weird! Like, it's, it's just, I, I'm, I'm never going to use it. Ever. And I highly, highly doubt I will change my mind about using it. I mean, uh, you know, actually, Poplio itself is a very, very, very gender-neutral Pokémon. It's just its evolutions that look very feminine. 1995. Year before like, Pokémon came out in Japan. Popplio, then go ahead and yourself. But I'm never going to use it. And I, and I already played using, um... Using Rowlet. Ah, it's good to be back. I just don't know who I want to um, use as my starter. If anything, I'll just spam Wonder Trait. Ooh, does this guy time. know some information? What do you know? The Darker Lord? Hmm. Come to think of it, I did see something dark and lordly earlier. Ominous mm -hmm. shadow soaring creepily across the sky. Sound anything like the Darker Lord you're looking for? Where could he have gone? Hmm. Now I think about it. Isn't it usually now that I think about it anyway? I saw a giant tower in the sky around that time. The shadow kind of disappeared somewhere around that tower. The one over there. Over where? Ah! The one that magically appeared on the map. The skyscraper. Thank you. This is a huge help. Glad to help. Da 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 da. Hitch a ride to the skyscraper. All right, I guess that's what we'll be doing. But first, we go bother the food critic guy, freaking Isaac. Yeah. Or uh, Cthulhu. All right, what's this photo? <laughs> it's always Sarek Hero. It's always why, something why happening. Why is he bullying me? Why is he bullying me? <laughs> why is he bullying me? I don't get it. What do you I remember? We have to find the stream where you complained that your me was not in enough photos. Cause since then, you've been in every photo. You've been the center of every photo. Like, it's not that I don't mind about being in a photo, but he's bullying me now. Like, what do they do? Cthulhu? What do they do to Cthulhu? I don't know. You you made Cthulhu <laughs> angry. I'll tell you what. What did you do to him? I, I didn't even do anything. I, all I said was that I'm not in enough pictures. You crossed the wrong incarnation of evil. Well, I guess he was offended because he was the one taking the pictures. I, I want to go to B and R Jams' room. It's been too long being our jams. We must chat. And for my next trick, I'm gonna do my impression of AJ. Eee! Stupid Hanzo! Ah, that's so good! You're welcome. How, how could these little meetings get any cheese here? If they were just about cheese? Ha 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 ha. All right, who wants the alien gummy? Sometimes I question our friendship. You can leave. I could, but I won't. Ha ha. All right, Beanar Jams, take this alien gummy. He likes it. He leveled up twice from it. Nice. <laughs> Nothing but cheesy conversations about cheese. Fwad! 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 Fifi. 
I really don't want the macho robe. It's too veiny. All right. Um, I'm gonna put the OG crew back. Oh wait, I need to. I need to. <laughs> like, wait a minute. What's going on? <laughs> okay. But now, I'm going to get a drink because I'm really thirsty. So one and second. Then gonna go bother Isaac for food. One second. Hey. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Besides having a good proud, eh. I think Area 51 just cringed. Oh, well. Okay. I just put so many cheers, Phantom King Jesus. I didn't even know. I didn't even know you put. I didn't know you put that. What was they even doing? Hey, nobody's talking. I don't think you guys can even hear me. Crazy. Okay, we're back. Hey, welcome and back. Sarge is here because he wants treats. Stop using your claws. He needs a he needs a nail trimming, to be honest. Cause he like rips things open just by touching them. Oh wait. Freaking. Oh. I didn't have to go all the way to the I think I could have just flown to the skyscraper thingy. Also, I, yeah, I just went yeah, the same we way. What is this? Long. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, I guess I guess we might as well battle these guys as long as we're here already. I mean, I mean experience, might as well. Yeah, might as well. Just speed through it a bit. Come on, Sarge. Up, up, come up. <laughs> there you go. Fwad got to level 19. Full steam ahead. Dun 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 dun. Uh oh, who's sick now? T Tyrant again? You know, wasn't the last stream like J Pizzle got sick two or three times? I don't know. Ah, too thirsty. I like the little, I love that little dance every time. -na 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 -na. Especially when I was like sped up, it's like. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go back here to get everybody even. I still need one more level with Strike Hero to be even with the whole OG crew. We got a lot of time on our hands. Uh oh, Fwad's gonna change his hair. Ta-da. <laughs> Why is it always like colors that are so far off from like what you would expect? They learned how to. Ah, Fwad and AJ learned how to share. Give half seas. Where are we in kindergarten? <laughs> you have to learn how to share. All right, class. This is how you share banana. That's not how you do it. 
All right. Let's see if we can get AJ to level up his attack. Missed it by that much. Rib. Fuad looking fabaloo. All right, Fuad. Why? You know what? I have enough. I can buy this and still have enough for whenever Fuad wants to get his act together. <laughs> AJ, I don't know if you can see the stream right now, but wait, I'm going to take a picture of this and send it to him just to make sure he doesn't miss this. Oh. All right, let me see. Did it come out noticeable? <laughs> All right. All right. That was a pretty good little boost there. That's it's all good, Phantom. I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to him anyway. So if being our jams, I can buy this for him and still have enough. Uh let's see. Beaner Jams bought a rose. I feel like he would want the blue one. Ah, too thirsty. I keep saying it, but mostly because I'm self-conscious about drinking on the stream because I don't know how loud it is. Just be glad it's not me. I would slurp on purpose. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> okay, so apparently we can't go any farther anyway. So let's go ahead. Um, how do we... Let's go to the dragon. I love the, the dragon. dragon, he's so awesome. The dragon. The dragon. The dragon, the dragon. Why, thank you, Mimi. Blue rose blasphemy. I don't know if they exist or if those are just spray painted roses. I freaking spray painted roses for no reason. I just know he likes the color blue, so. So this is the skyscraper. Darker Lord Freeman should be here. But... The doors are locked tight, and we have to put in clown face gems in order to get it. Four holes, let me guess. We need to run around collecting jewels again before it'll open. Well, better get to it then. All right, I knew it couldn't be that easy. All right, it's come on. It's never that easy. Come on, dragon. Let's go. It's never that easy. All right. Oh, there's there's a toad. Is that Terra again? And another yes, Mario. All right, this is level 21. That's a bit above us. Level 20. Level 20. Level 17, okay, that's a better one. Dubious Mayor Toad. Yeah, he was like the very start of the game. Oh, um, do you have a moment? So lately, it's like this. The kingdom of Greenhorn is another spot of bother. Monsters that look like mice have been running amok. Pikachu? And, um, well, the king has only gone and told me to sort it out. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> as if I could do anything about it. Get some chickens. So I came here in search of help. I know I'm asking a lot, but I beg you, please save Greenhorn. Ooh, we get very rare cheesecake if we do. They have mythological significance, but they don't actually exist. Breeders and gen geneticists have been trying for ages to f genetically engineer a true blue rose. We've been getting close. That's kind of cool, though. All right, Toad. I don't want to do your voice anymore. I'm thirsty enough as it is. All right, let's go. Dun, 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 green horn. This is like ever since we got the dragon, it's like we got the HM for fly. Oh, new area. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wait, there we go. Um, 
I could go there, but I'm pretty sure... Is that gonna be locked? I wanna get this treasure chest first anyway. <sighs> Which way? Which way, Soraka Hero? Uh, up. Down it is! What's the point of even asking me? <laughs> so I knew which one I didn't want to pick. I did, that with AJ, I, I did that with AJ too on the last stream. Oh, look at the little mice. I mean, the, the trick Those is... Like Red Dedenne. They do look like Red Dedenne. I mean, the trick is... I, I'm not gonna always do the opposite of what you say, so you never know what to recommend me, because you never know whether I'm gonna go with what you recommend or not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, make Fred's- look! Fred's frying pan! Look at how big that was. I wanna- I wanna use enlarged weapon on AJ's sword thingy, though. That looks like it would be awesome. How do you do that? Oh man, that wasn't enough? These- these mice have higher defense than I realized. I mean, they're doing a lot of damage to us, so I guess they're a pretty high level. I just love that arm. It's fantastic. <clears throat> and I just hit him with a bunch of flowers. Smell this! <laughs> I hope you're allergic! <laughs> oh, we got mouse treat. It was like a bunch of cheese with a cherry on top. That reminds me of when I was going to college. They would have... I would... It was, you know, within an hour of my house. So, I would go home over the weekend, and on Sunday afternoons I'd come back, and on some Sunday afternoons during, like, the early fall, they would have a farmer's market, and one time mm. I went there and I bought, like, a dessert cheese, and it was, like, a cheese that had some kind of fruit in it, like a berry or something. And it was kind of tart, but the fruit made it sweet, so... And then there's Soraka Hero eating imaginary food. <laughs> huh? I'm trying to trick my stomach into feeling full. This journey is taking a real mental toll on Zeragiro. Every day is taking a real mental toll on me. Every day I lose my mind a little bit more, and I get so much closer to losing it. Alright, up or down, Zeragiro. You don't know if I'm gonna listen to you or not. Oh, actually, that time I actually meant to go up, but I hit it one too many times. So I'll actually listen to you next time. I'll make sure I listen to you next time. Did a wise word. Mega explosion, double assist. Man, even that wasn't enough. They're bulky. Flad. Was it quince cheese? It's a popular thing, I think. You know, it was enough years ago that I don't remember what it was called, but they had a, a few different idea like they had a few different dessert cheeses, so it could have been it could have been that that they had that one. I mean, there were a couple different ones. I mean, it kind of reminded me of having like say a raspberry cheesecake except obviously not as sweet. Hmm. Wait, let me see what kind of health they have. Man, they have so much HP, or defense, or just, like I said, high level. I guess that's the best possibility. Hey. Alright, let me get this level up here. Or not. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let me get this level up, sake. Oh. Darn you, game! It's like how the game keeps saying, okay, the game's over now. Psych! <laughs> Psych! Da da! T Tyron is feeling better oh, yeah, again. Run away. Ah! <laughs> I love that. Da da! <laughs> Let's eat. This is adorable. It's a it's a mouse tail on top, not a cherry. I think I'd prefer a cherry. Let's just say it's a cherry. HP and speed. 
I'm thinking Soraka Hero, but then we have these other people that could use... I mean, being our jams is a cat, woof, so... I could have given it to the actual cat, but... I don't know what he is. <laughs> <laughs> the world may never know. Dang it, Fwad! I'm telling you, Fwad only wants it when you don't have money. I know! I mean, he was waiting for your amount of money just for him to have it again. He's just sitting there waiting. Like, I know he's just sitting there waiting. <laughs> Treasure chest. Sorry, Ooh. as I respond to this. Banana's having a text chest. I really am. I'm popular tonight. Yeah. But now, will Fuad want it? Or will hmm. not want it like you Hmm. Hmm. Nope. I don't think I- I, I think I'm just below- Ooh, look at that. I, I think I'm just move, like 200 below what it would cost anyway. But we do have some game tickets, so we'll see what that- it gives true. us. Let's see what that is. Hmm. HP and MP. I say Mimi. She needs it more than anyone else. Let's see. Do you like the art cookie? Mimi doesn't like art! Well, at least she's got the MP that she needs. All right, what do we have on the roulette in that case? Octopus shell. That's for the tank, I guess. Sounds like it would be. And we're not even gonna get it. We're gonna get an MP candy or cheesecake. No, or Jolly Jaunt tickets. I forgot, I, I, I see, when we have a full party, I can't like separate the room or anything. We just now are one step closer to being the best of friends. Mm hmm Lend a hand too! Alright, now I gotta level everybody up to 15. Round and round it goes. All right. Okay, I'm gonna try to stop texting now. Let's give this octopus shell to Phantom. He has been asking for that for a long time. It looks like one of those hot dogs that like you cut up to look like an octopus. All yeah, right. I was thinking of making some of those sometimes, but it's like, eh, wait, 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 before you go, I want to see what kind of dagger I want. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, I literally I was I, I was listening to what you said, but I wasn't expecting what you were gonna say, so I just hit I the button. I just see what I wanted, because <laughs> I know I wanted something. The world we never like, know. You already have an awesome dagger, though. Let's be honest. No, 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 no. I, I just want to see what it looked like. I wasn't gonna take the biter. I, I was curious. Fifty gold. Come on, I need more, so that. Let's play in the game. We get fifty bucks. It's like you get the everywhere else. I mean, we here. are we are back to the starting area, basically. Uh oh, so yeah. Hero and I are gonna be in another fight again? Yeah, it didn't even give me a chance to stop the fight. That was the last straw! <laughs> I'm just sitting there with like the white face thing. <laughs> but see, if we had taken the Jolly John tickets now when we were fighting, we could have made money. Exactly. Timing is right everything. after the freaking adventure to the freaking fun island. This goes down, I'm like, Excuse Come on, me? Sarge. Come up. Up here, Sarge. <laughs> Come, on, Sarge. Look eyes. Look at Come on, Sarge. Come on, up. Up so they can see you, Sarge. Come on, Sarge. <laughs> I can just see his little paws. Come on, Sarge. You gotta jump up to get it, Sarge. Sorry. <laughs> when I was eating earlier, he just jumped up. Oh, man. AJ snapped me out of it. Nice. Alright, so, 
All right, what do I use? Everything. So yeah, Sarge like came up from behind me and was like trying to reach over my shoulder to get at my food. He's a little <laughs> scamp. One of the most annoying parts of a pet. They're always going to want to eat your food. Yeah, for the most part with dogs that I've had, they just kind of sit there and beg. Sarge like actively tries to steal your food while you're eating it. Ooh, we got the door key. Yay. Oh, door key. That's kind of dorky. Huh. It is kind of dorky. Huh. All right. Let's eat. Oh, I'll have to buy something. Some I just saw cheese. things go over his head. Let's give AJ some speed. He doesn't like cheese either. I guess AJ's lactose intolerant. Let's see if the cat likes the mouse treat. Yep. But doesn't people with lactose intolerance actually love dairy, but they can't have it? Well, right, it has nothing to do with whether you like dairy or not. It just has to do with the way your system handles dairy. And what I've read, now I don't know how true this is, but what I've read is that, well, your lactose intolerance is based on genetics, and it has, it, it, it's your genetics, like, ooh, does, yes, Vlad wants it! It has to do with, like, where though. you're from. <laughs> like, basically, they're saying genetically, one of the only groups that, like, have no lactose intolerance genetically, I think, is, like, if you're from, like, the, the Nordic countries. That's what I've heard, and I think that might be an oversimplification of it, but effectively, like, I guess your family heritage has a, a contributing factor on whether you're lactose intolerant. I gotta say... This is a pretty sweet one. I really like this color with the green. I really want to see what kind of dagger I want with it. I think because this one kind of goes with his frying pan. It's somewhat. But I don't know. Let's go with the orange one to be festive. <laughs> All right. Ooh, it's oh. a heart dagger. I can't afford it. That's fine. I can't afford anything, honestly. I know, like, I, I just wanted to see what it looked like. Alright, Sarge, come on. Up. Up. Yeah. Say hi to everybody, <laughs> Sarge. Easy. He's like, give me that treat, darn you. <laughs> there he is going up on my- on the armrest. As he likes to do. <laughs> he's gone like completely- he's balanced- this chair back is thin. He's balanced completely on this chair back just to try to get at my food. <laughs> There you go, Sarge. That was Sarge's appearance for for the night, potentially. Because that was my last <laughs> treat. Or, or at least the one, last one you're willing to give him. No, I really don't have any more treats on me, unfortunately. Not oh, unless I go- okay. well, not unless I go out into the other room and get some more. I mean, if, we, if I had given Fuad the green coloration, it would have gone with the whole surroundings around here, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, what is this? Let's do this! The giant mouse. I thought there was going to be more to it than that, but I guess not. Wild mouse. A wild mouse appeared. Oh, you know what? We have to make everybody crazy first. Except me. I want to control my first move right now, because I want to choose what I do here. There we go. Double assist! Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Man, we're doing massive damage. I wonder what percentage of its HP that's gonna be, though. What? All right, I can save. I don't. I don't need to go crazy yet because we've already got it down to its last like quarter of health. Yeah. Yeehaw! Yep. Yep. But yeah, like, what I was saying before about lactose intolerance, I, I think the point was, genetically, most, most, like, I don't mean, know, most, I don't know, people of most ethnic backgrounds, I guess you could say, people of most origins will have some degree of lactose intolerance, and like, some are worse than others. And, and I think it was, like, Nordic people that have the least amount of lactose intolerance, 
like talking about genetics. I wish I remembered yeah. it. It's been several years since I read whatever article that was. So I don't I don't know how true it is or how like if it oversimplified it too much, but that was what I remember learning that there was a genetic aspect to it and that most people actually are a little bit lactose intolerant. Ooh. So AJ hated the cheese, but he loved the cheesecake. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Oh, something else that I learned was that apparently you can you can um if you are lactose intolerant and you want to drink milk, if you put cocoa powder in the milk, it it's su it's supposed to help your body break down the milk better. So basically, chocolate milk is your friend. I didn't know that actually. I mean, again, that's another one of those things where, like, I think I read it in, in, um, like, a magazine that's, like, at a supermarket checkout, so I don't know exactly, like, not, not, like, not a tabloid type of thing, but one of those, like, it might have been, like, a dieters thing or, like, a nutrition thing. So I don't know if it's, like, the most super accurate thing, but I, I thought that was interesting, and it does somewhat make sense, like, when I had it explained to me, I could see that being the case. All right, let's yeah. do the next thing. Let's go with Terra here. Ugh! All we eat every single day is dumb salad. I've had it. Is it too much to ask to have something sweet just once? Oh, hey you. Hee <laughs> hee. I know something you don't, but I can tell you. I can tell you or I can't tell you. Tucked away in the hidden in a hidden spot in Krakaton. There's a super sweet snack. I'm going there, and you're coming with me. Well, we get, like, really rare devil's food cake, so I guess that's worth it. But we probably have to fight those fiends that Oko us. Yeah. That's gonna be a pain. dun da da Oh god, this place is crawling with them too. What'd you say? This place is like crawling with them too, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. We did find a lot of them around here. We're gonna get some tasty snurps. Good thing these are weak. Mega explosion! Haha, <laughs> that was nice. Food. Snurp radish. Okay. Wait, we never did go and get that treasure chest. But oh I well. I think you're even able to, are you? What's that? Are you even able to? I think there was an, an alternate path that we didn't take because I thought we were close to the end of the game. Just like until the next time when I thought we were almost to the end of the game. Until the next time yeah. when I thought we were almost to the end of the game. Lizard man. Strike here was sulking. Not gonna do big damage while he's sulking. Whoa, that attack looked awesome. It looked like Night Slash or something. Mega explosion again! So is 87.5 to 12.5 the most unequal gender ratio that exists in the games, or is there a higher one? I feel like Machop was 75-25. That's not as big, but I'm, I'm like, I'm thinking that was the next biggest one. And I mean, obviously 100% is the largest, like the, the biggest skewed gender ratio, but I mean, apart from that... Actually, you know what? There is uh, Lucario on the. What's that? I think their I think their ratio to be male is pretty is a lot higher than than it is to be female. I thought Lucario was fifty fifty. No, it isn't. Are you but, sure? Well, not? actually, no, 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 no. no. It's Riolu. Riolu's doing with the really with the really weird um, gender ratio. Well, did you know that um something because. 
Azuril and Meryl have different gender ratios, there is like a small yeah. chance that an Azuril will change gender when it evolves. Yeah. That... It's like mind-blowing. I wonder if that was intentional. I think it was the cardio is the same as start. A while. The fossils are the same as the starters. Now that I don't think I ever knew. Well, it kind of makes sense for fossils. They don't want you to like get like a whole team of aerodactyls. You know what I mean? But wouldn't wouldn't it wouldn't it just be the same as the same ditto thing as the starters? Mm -hmm. Well, even then, like. I mean, I still I think that's like, I still think that's weird. the reason for high male gender like, ratios. You have freaking ditto, and they don't want you to breed your starters, like. Right? But then why'd you give me ditto? It's like I mean, there's certain games where it's starter, really hard to get ditto, where you can't get them. Aw, oh, Mimi, I was sick. I guess that cheese wasn't was was past due or something. I don't know. Quarrel's over. But I thought cats love cheese. Dun, da, da, da. Yes, I want to keep playing. Darn you! Like we literally just started streaming like not that long ago, did we? Well, it's been out the recording like the live timers for an hour and forty one minutes, but actual playing it took me like twenty something minutes probably. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Riolu actually has a slightly higher male-to-female ratio than the starters. 88.1 to 11.9, according to Cerebi. Yeah, see, I told you. So that, But, I mean, that's even higher by 0.6%. Which is kind of nuts. I like how when oh, you're yeah, sick, you like, just can't you eat. You to come across to Riolu. They, don't, like, they want to be as hard as possible to get Lucario, which is annoying. I don't know why I feel yeah. like I ran into- and because Lucario is one of those ones where I think makes sense to be male. I always felt like when I played through Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum that I always got a female real to hatch from the egg. Unless was that, like, programmed that way? I doubt it. No, it's not. I, I always got a male real. But, like, I can understand why, though. Because, like... I don't know. I, I, I usually hate leveling up Riolu, because, like, especially on, like, higher levels, because, like, a lot of the time when you were to get a Riolu at, like, a certain level, you're not going to be getting Aura Spear until, like, you try to learn it from someone. Yeah, I know. I always try to evolve my friendship Pokemon before a certain level. Ooh, statue costume is pretty cool looking. Yeah, and I hate it. Because, like, after, like, a certain level, you can't get Aura Spear until you hit a, high, a very higher level. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, I could have had this move like forever ago, but I didn't. So then you have to freaking rely on focus and miss, hit, like, missing every time. And then at that point, you may as well just be physical. Because, like, by the time you learn Aura Sphere, you're not going to be needing it because you have close combat already. Yeah. Oh, wait, the fossils have the same rate as Riolu. Oh, wait, or did they change it? Because I'm looking at Gen 7. Because the fossils have the same rate as Riolu, which is higher than the starters, 88.1. Unless they changed it for some reason in Gen 7. Let me take a look. I doubt it, but let me confirm this. Let's send Tyrant on a trip, because he's been sick so often. Yeah, they changed it, 88.1 to 11.9. Let me let me look at like the Kanto starters and see if they changed it for all they must have because yeah eighty eight point one to eleven point nine that is weird let me go to the like I don't know the Gen five Pokedex so let's see that's so weird I mean it's a very very minor change but that's weird. Well, Mimi, I mean, that makes sense that they're the same, but what I'm saying is that the actual number is different than it used to be. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm crazy. But I'm gonna- I'm gonna- that's why I'm gonna look up an older generation. Let's look up, um, black and white. Let's see what it was in Gen 5. Yeah, 87.5 to 12.5. That's what it's been, like... 
for as long as I remember looking it up. And Eevee was the same. No, see, well, what it... Yeah, but me, yeah, Mimi, what I found was, like, Gen 5, it says 87.5 to 12.5 for, like, Bulbasaur, for example. Then for Gen 7, it says 88.1 to 11.9. So I'm assuming in Gen 7 they changed it, unless it was that way in, in uh, Gen 6 as well. Which I don't think it was, but I will check. Yeah, uh, as of the last generation, as of Gen 6, it was still 87.5 to 12.5. So apparently in Gen 7 they changed it. Which I don't know if that has any consequences if you if you bank over your Pokemon. Like I don't I don't see why it would, other than for this the same reason that Azuril can change genders when it evolves. Oh look, Sarki Hero, there's your heart dagger. Hi. That was like seven points increase in attack. I mean look at the bright thing, it's different money. Yep. I kind of want to put on the heart, the heart gear. Do you still have the heart gear? Or did I mean, you ever buy the heart gear is what I should say? I mean, I should have had it. Tyranicrack, thank you for the sub! Cause like, as far as I remember, I haven't really been interested in buying any new costumes lately. This is true. Ah, I just missed that level up. Rip. Just barely. You, you're like, you're like at that 99 point. Right there. All right. Well, AJ's wanted this for a while, so I'll give him the little defense boost. I mean, I'm just gonna go back to the monster splash dinosaur armor anyway, but we'll give him the stat boost. Do 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 dinosaur. Do 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 dinosaur. Dinosaur. Da 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 da. Land before time. I forget which movie it was, but the lone dinosaur. Fun fact about me: my school had like a talent show in the third grade. And I, I, the previous Halloween, I had had a costume that was Littlefoot from the Land Before Time. So for the talent show, I like recorded a song, that song, The Lone Dinosaur from one of the movies. And I played it on, on like my little cassette player or whatever. And I sang mm -hmm. to it. That was my talent for the talent show. Nice. Yep. I didn't know you could take banana. Um, okay, so we got that ritual stuff. But the, the problem was my best friend was supposed to do it with me, and she backed out. So I ended up being up there all by myself. In what, oh, in what, yeah. you know, in retrospect would be considered a little bit of an embarrassing, stupid thing to do for a talent when it's not really a talent, but... Oh well. I mean, if you can sing, you can sing. I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm a, I'm in a very average singer because I, I don't have any technique to it. I can just kind of carry a tune. But I tend to be flat occasionally. I notice that. I tend to be a little flat. I mean, I can barely sing at all. Like, I really want to learn how to sing. I want to learn. All I know is they always tell you to sing from the diaphragm, which I haven't trained myself to do. I have no idea what that is, so I never tried. <laughs> it was like, ugh. I, I can't. So I don't do Master Fett, it says, is in the chat because he's Twitch friends with me. You guys can't see him yet. Say something, Master. Oh my gosh! Look at that big dagger, Soraka Hero. I know, it's so cool, right? Oh, I just used regular explosion. Oh well. Hiya, Master Fett! Ooh, the double assist. Dun, da, da, da. All 
All right, treasure chest. Three MP candies. Da 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 da. Got my favorite clothes on today. They're pretty nice robes, I have to say. I must admit. 